Hello, today I would like to demonstrate how to use fget1 in MATLAB to search a text file line by line and extract certain information. For this example, we'll use the points.dxf CAD file. In AutoCAD, we can see that points.dxf has six points in it. Back in MATLAB, we'll open points.dxf as a text file. Searching that text file for ACDB point, we'll find the first point in the file. ACDB point is followed by a 10, which is then followed by the X value, a 20, which is followed by the Y value, and a 30, which is followed by the Z value for that point. Here's the syntax required to open the DXF file for read permission. Note that fopen will return an integer, and I'm storing that integer value in FID so that I can refer to it when I need MATLAB to look at that file. Investigating the main loop of the code, we see that this loop will run over and over again until the end of file status becomes 1, which will indicate that the end of file has been reached. FGET1 will read one line of the file. Let's put a break here and see how this works. So after TLINE runs for the first time, we see that the 0 CHR, CHAR or char value is stored in TLINE. This information corresponds to the very first line of our text file shown here. Continuing the debug, we see that the second value will be section, which of course corresponds to the second row of data in the text file. Exiting the debug mode, we investigate the next lines of code, which contain the logic that will help us extract the correct data. Note that in order to compare two char values, the char values must have the same length. If you don't make sure of this, the code will result in an error. So once we find a line of code that has the correct number of char values or the, a char value with the correct length, then we check that char value to see if it is indeed a C D B point. If it is, we get one more line of data from the text file, but we're going to ignore it because that will contain the 10. The next value will store an X, then we'll ignore a value, store the next value in Y, ignore a value, store the next value in Z. Note that these values stored in X, Y, and Z are char values. We need to convert those to numerics, which can be done with the S scan F command. Then those numeric values can be stored as the R row in the M matrix. After that's done, you have a point stored in the M matrix. Of course, then you go to the next line of the file, get it, and check to see if it's another point. This process repeats until the file indicator status becomes 1, indicating fget1 has reached the end of the file, and then I have a line of code here that will echo the M matrix. Let's put a stop there and debug and see how that works. So it looks like we have our six points in the workspace variable M. This last section of code simply opens a file for output and writes the M matrix to that file. Finally, running the code and opening the output text file, we see that our six points have been stored in this text file. I hope that helps you get started using fget1 to scan text files with MATLAB. Have a great day.